Kia ora, guys, gals and legionnaires. Rikon here. Welcome back to Let's Roleplay Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Brand's Tale. We find ourselves out in a field just before dawn. The sun's still below the horizon. And our man Bran is in pain. Something that he hasn't felt for a while. And the reason we've had that pain is due to a very large number of the dead that we have been contending with. Now, we got out of there with the, you know, <laughs> by the skin of our teeth. We still need to go back to get our supplies. We left our pack back there. So I'm hoping that things will have quietened down a little bit. We'll see. I'm not going to cross my fingers on that one. We're low on power. We're tired. We're in pain. But we can continue. And before we do that, I'm going to see if I can get this kill log to work. And sure enough, we can. It is just shift zero, one of the brackets. Closing bracket. And we can see that we have killed over 2,000. 2,099. Not a bad effort, I might say so. Wow. That is something else. 330 zombies. Nice. Very nice. How many zombie hulks? Ten. Fantastic. There we go. A whole range of creatures. Two thousand of them in total. Nothing to scoff at. He is something else, our Bran. But we must continue. We must. And so we shall. Oh dear. Right. Let's see if we can remember where we dropped our bag. Honestly, I can't 100% remember. <laughs> I know it was around here before we went in to fight them. So, let's see if we can make our way over towards that area. The Zombie Night Stalker thrust its arms at you. Okay, so the Zombie Night Stalker has range on us. It can actually see us from a distance. I don't think we'll be able to see it even if we have night vision. We can try though, can't we? So, night vision. Let me remind myself as to what that might be along here. Uh, we have our infrared vision, but we should also have night vision not too far away. I will see it eventually. I always need to re-familiarize myself with everything. There it is. And we can see a zombie soldier over to the side. Okay, we cannot see this Night Stalker, and now there we can. We turn around, swing our blade out towards it, shocking the thing in the rain as we're sent reeling backwards. We run back in the direction that we think it was in. Killing two shady zombies and one of the stalkers. In the distance we see a zombie master. That is the creature that needs to die. That is the creature that has been making all of these horrific things. It is heavily injured. It is currently tracking. We might just be able to get a shot off in time. We point our finger out in his general direction. Shooting him. With a critical, we fire yet again. He is on fire, apparently. <laughs> Which I'm assuming is coming from our... From this here. We can see that, yeah, on fire and badly bleeding. These are statuses that I haven't seen before. We must almost have them now. Severely injured. Any moment now. We are actually illuminating ourselves. But finally, the thing is dead. However, we can see a corrosive zombie now coming our way. It would seem we have... Awoken. The Funtime Horde. <laughs> So, at this point, what do we do? Well, we should still have something attached to our chest, and that we do. We're going to have to drop our broadsword for now, to be able to draw this thing. We're going to take our rifle. Oh no, why didn't it fire? Because I didn't have it turned on. That is my mistake. I had taken, I, I went and turned off the UPS. That's why it didn't fire. Well, now, isn't that something? Okay, so... Let's think about this. 
how do we want to try and do this? The Skeletal Jorgonaut can actually hit us from here. I think at this stage we're just going to have to try and run back. I'm going to be turning on. Oh, this is going to start getting tense. Because we're going to be getting quite low in energy here. But we're going to have to turn on our UPS. Wherever you are. Let me see if I can track you down. Internal Unified Power System. We need to make sure that we are running. Which we are now. And that broadsword, unfortunately, is going to have to stay down there for now. But we're going to try and take them in such a way that we might be able to make it around that. Now, we have a house. We can lead them into the house, setting the thing ablaze. That might be our best option at this point, as we continue to try and get some distance. Yes, let's do that. And we won't even have to use our power to be able to do it. Only a tiny, tiny bit of it. Using the mini flamethrower, we set a wall ablaze. Walking through here, we will set another. And you know what? We might be able to get by with a matchbook. See if we can get that set on fire. And that we can. Is it going to burn fast enough? Is it going to move fast enough? We'll find out soon enough, won't we? We're going to have to just wait on this pile of rubble for now. As they start to filter through, we try to keep our balance. We spotted the soldier. Let's go ahead and see if we can fire this thing towards him. We do not want to miss here. If we hit, we'll set that entire area ablaze. Okay, we are caught in the explosion from it. But fire spreads further. The plasma doing damage. Yeah, that explosion was rather large. But the flames are working. As they step through, one by one, these creatures begin to fall. Consumed by the flames. Or one attempting to make it around the side. We'll see if we can get away with a precise shot. Eh, yeah, we're gonna be lucky. We are gonna be very lucky if we can get that off. Let's see. 97. Okay. Ripped. That's fine. We'll take that for now. We'll wait but a moment longer. And then we're gonna have to move. How damaged is this thing? It's moderately injured. That is not damaged enough. And this is where... <laughs> searching. Or at least... <laughs> checking your surroundings before you back yourself into it. Is a very good technique. We still have time, however. And we're gonna use all that time we can to attempt to get away from this thing. Trying to get as much distance as we can. We're seeing a blob. As more of these creatures four. We've got locked doors all around here. This one, we're just gonna have to go ahead and try and smash. Come on. We're just using the rifle to try and smash it down as our stamina lessens. The skeletal creature making its way through all of those flames. Heavily injured, but still going. Finally, we knock down the door. We need to really get our breath back. We're going to start walking at this stage. Let's avoid the rubble where we can. Allow this building to just start to collapse. Backing out to the other side. Smash it to pieces while we can. And now I think we can go ahead and turn this off. As we can see this building is well lit and it begins to fall apart collapsing drawing the dead into it the fire burns bright in the night sky we see a rottweiler off to the side we need to get further back so that we're not in the blaze and that Rottweiler is going to cause us a little bit of trouble, as we don't have a weapon on us right now. We do have our, our backup that we can use. And I'm really dismayed with how much damage we've done to this. Incredibly troubling. 
this mission has turned into something very, very dangerous. Now, we might be able to get away with just blasting this sucker. And that we are. Now, we need to start to try and make our way back around. We, first of all, need to get back our stamina. We are hearing more noise come towards us. We need to get distance here. We can leave the suit unpowered just for now. So we can see more are getting drawn into the flames. Ah, of course. Hello. Hi. Fantastic. That's exactly what we wanted. You know what? We've still got a little bit of power. We don't want this thing to take any more damage at this stage. We're going to go ahead and activate it, and we're going to start moving. No more engagement. Just keep our distance for now. Regain our stamina. Wait. Be patient. They just get drawn in towards that light. One by one. Succumbing to the flames. Let's try and see if we can move back up towards our broadsword. We're going to keep this suit on for now. It's got more than enough power. We want it to be able to make it. And I believe that is a zombie necromancer just hanging out there on the side. That it is lightly injured, smarter than the others, choosing to avoid the flames. We need our blade. Okay. It's nearly morning. 6.30. And there's our sword. So let's start to move towards it. Store on the survivor harness. Now the others turn. There are so many more of them, all still awaiting us, all hungering. Let's see if we can dodge around and bring them back down through the flames. We've just got an army of boomers coming our way, even more traveling from beneath. Stay moving. Back down and through the building. Let's breathe. Here is where we can make a stand again. And we might just have to. We'll slash out towards them. As daylight starts to seep out our man Bran. Slowly filtering through the rubble. Let's go ahead and turn off the unified power system, just for now. We don't have any other need for it right now. The kinetic shock absorbers we're going to turn off, unless we see something large. There are so many of them around here. So, so many. We'll wait here for now. See if they come our way. Let's turn the suit off, no point in us having it turned on right now. Eventually, these ones that are outside will start to filter their way down there, as they are the swimmer seeking us out. I'm not worried about them. So we'll take them as they are, nice and easy like that. Now, I don't know where most of the bodies are ending up. Okay. Here they come. Arriving as a larger force. They seek Bran out. We're going to stop running. One after the other. They clamber through the, through the, through the window frame. Bran slashing their heads off. Rolling to the side. Piling them up in the rubble. One in the next. One filtering. Slipping below his feet. He fights to stay standing the ground slick with their blood. We have two boomers on their way towards us. One explodes with force, sending its bile out over the surrounding area as more filter down towards Bran. And with that, we're going to activate our armor. Keep them going. The 
grabbed, but we got ourselves free. Okay. Okay. Well, Ran, quite the morning, isn't it? Quite the morning, yes. Let's go ahead and activate this thing. I'm going to have a quick drink. <laughs> As we've already started off in grand fashion. Let's make sure that these dead can't come back. We'll wait for this huge boomer. And then we'll deal with this lot. Even with the fire raging. Okay. That's a lot of corpses around us. A lot of corpses. Now, did anyone have anything interesting for us? We've got a smartphone. Got some cough syrup, USB drive, talking doll. We've got a whole heap of clothing and rubble. Bits and pieces that we might be able to fuel ourselves with. We also do have some more smoked meat here. Uh, which, first of all, we're going to use to sort us out there. But what we might have to do is turn our metabolic interchange on. A thousand power isn't a lot of power. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, in Cataclysm, yeah, it's a decent amount. But for Bran, we get through those pretty damn quick. Let's go ahead and turn that internal furnace on and just see what around here we can eat that's going to help us out. The rubber hose, that's pretty good, but that's that's our rubber hose. Let's not do that. Uh, we've got two briefcases there. We're going to be able to get a little bit of power back from them. Brilliant. So let's do that. We're recharging ourselves by using what we can find around us. And I don't think we can sort by power. I'm relatively sure you can't sort by anything in here. Um, yeah, that's only filtering. That's fine. So we'll just go through looking for things like jeans that are going to have a little bit more power for us um, let's see, there we go, those raincoats, that's great there's a fair bit there unfortunately it does take a little bit to scroll down each time we could also stop from the bottom um, we're going to just have the whole thing <laughs> there we go um, oh there was more than one there apparently okay talking doll, fantastic another talking doll Okay, we're up to 2,000 power already. Apparently there's a few talking dolls here. Yeah, there's more than a few. I wonder if it's taken into account the, um, the batteries that are inside of them as well. This is, there is a massive amount of talking dolls here. This is kind of wild. That one's already got two in it. <laughs> that was crazy. That's a ridiculous amount of them. Okay, camera. Here we go. Yeah, this power is good. The eternal furnace is working out for us. Internal. I know I know it sounds like I'm saying eternal sometimes, but uh, I do mean uh, internal. Let's see what else we got. Well, Poncho, fantastic. Let's get that power rolling. I can just see Bran just... I, I can almost imagine him, like extending his jaw and just like funneling these things in here but it looks like that is the most that we're going to kind of get out of this lot here um not bad all things considered let's use a little bit of that power to turn on our repair nanobots just to get us fixed up and looking nice we can see it uses power really really quickly when we do this but getting us back into top condition is going to be important um now repairing our armor is not going to be an easy task for us to do ceramic and kevlar and getting the tools necessary to be able to repair it also not super easy we're going to have a peek outside just to see what's going on in the town let's have a look up here and just see see how things are going okay so the house is still raging on fire i say house it was actually a doctor's office um, so we can still fight around that, and fight we might have to. It depends. Safe mode is turned off. Um, number pad was also turned off. Okay. All right. So it seems like the number of dead are still relatively high. We're seeing quite a few up that way as well. What I'm concerned will be if we see a lot of skeletal juggernauts. Unfortunately, a lot of them are going to be coming back. Which is really not so cool. we got a lot of them around here. It's a lot to deal with. 
I'm okay with just getting a few of them to follow us back down here now. I'd rather that. This area's been working for us so far. I'm gonna leave this thing turned off just for now. There's nothing here to smash, apparently. Okay. Oh, yep. Yep, we got a fair few. The issue that we might start running into with Bran is him getting tired. Like, getting proper tired. Because this is not light work. This is intense. Intense work. Okay, many corpses. Um, we still have our furnace active. We can always have a look and see if there's anything else here for us to eat. Um, yes, the Mossberg, and we are going to eat it, because, um, yeah, that energy is going to be more better for us than the actual weapon itself. Eat the sports jersey. Um, seeing 175, the cargo pants. I think that's about it, really. Unfortunately, we're not going to have any more talking dolls. That's a lot. Uh, there is a lot of 2x4s, and by a lot I mean 4, which is not a lot, but better than nothing. Let's go ahead and chug back a few of them. As you do. Okay, that's a little bit better. That number up there is still a little too high for my liking. Oh great, there's a zombie master across the way as well. Okay. Still got boomers. There was a master up here. We can use this fire to our advantage still. Yeah, look at that. They're all starting to filter down towards it. Let's do that. We do need to be aware... ...of our heat tolerance. You see they're all getting drawn into it across the way now. Okay, that's a zombie necromancer. Fantastic. He needs to die. And fast. I don't want to get too much closer to the flames, even though I know we can use thermal dissipation. Actually, you know what? Let's do that. Thermal dissipation, and let's get right in there. We're feeling warm. Okay. Okay, now we're scorching. We need to get away. Oh, wow. Okay. We're grabbed. Okay, we're scorching even with thermal dissipation turned on. It's not a good sign. We need to break away from this heat as soon as possible. We're not going to be able to do that. We're just going to have to try and bear this heat for now. If we turn on this, it might help us out as well. This is not good. Okay. Alright. We're still scorching. But we should be far enough away now. We just need to break these grabs on us. And then limp away. Okay. Limping away is what we're going to be doing now. At least trying to. Let's turn off the suit for now. Heat. I did not think heat was going to be the thing to get us. Our thermal dissipation is still turned on. They're trying as hard as they possibly can to reduce the heat across our body. Which looks fine, surprisingly enough. I don't know why we're still scorching. Why are we still scorching? What's going on? I think something potentially could be wrong here. Um, we're going to turn thermal dissipation off, because I think something strange is happening here. We shouldn't still be scorching. Um, we retch, but our stomach is empty, and I'm thinking that's from pain, unhappy, nausea, scorching. We're, we're hot, but I'm looking at our warmth, and our warmth is fine. We're sweating profusely. Um... Only thing I can think of is trying to take off the suit, but we can't do that. I actually don't know what to do in this scenario. Apart from just keep on trying to move. Have these been smashed at all? I don't even know. Uh, 
Well, the ones up there haven't, but I'm assuming that these ones here have. Yeah, pulped. Okay, let's just get back inside for now. I'm- we're gonna try and take off the suit. Okay, we're very hot now. We're not scorching anymore. So was the- was the heat traveling that far? I'm- I'm confused. We're gonna go ahead and take off the combat armor for now. And see if that helps. Just reset our, um... Uh, heat. We're in moderate pain, we've gone down to warm. Okay. That was very, very frightening. I thought for a moment there that, um... It was game over. Because we're good up to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit with that thermal dissipation unit, so that's some insane heat. It does not affect your internal temperature. It will prevent heat damage. I... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, maybe our internal temperature still rose, but then it makes me think, what's the point in the CBM in the first place? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to go ahead and put this thing back on, though. Let's go ahead and wear it. Grab the cloak and that. Wowzers. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking we probably are going to need to sleep soon. Uh, which is a little frightening because there are a lot of things around here that can still come back, namely that zombie necromancer as well, which can bring even more things back, which makes me, yeah, super not happy about that. But what can you do? Apparently not much because we're overheating. I really want that zombie necromancer to die. That's a little concerning. And we have a zombie master that's alive on the other side of here as well. All round, not too great. I mean, look, the main reason that we're doing all of this is so that we can get our bag back. So that we can get our, our, our things back. We're going to be able to do that, just uh, not right away. Now, we could try and sleep here. We are a heavy sleeper, and that would make me a little nervous doing that. But we are kind of tucked away here. Our smell shouldn't be traveling too far. We can't close that door. Could be worse. Um, okay, so let's see. What do we need to leave on? We're going to leave the breeder system on. That's perfectly fine. Um, everything else can stay on. That's alright. We'll turn the furnace off for now, just in case we accidentally bloody eat our goddamn canteen again. We're thirsty yet again. I'm not surprised. But it seems like heat. We're comfortable now. That's good. Alright. We have an asthma attack. We use our inhaler. That's good. It's good. All right, we are gonna try and sleep here. Okay, are we gonna set an alarm? Um, we're not going to. Let's see if we make this work. Our vision starts to blur, so that's uh, probably our contact lenses. Okay. At least our body has recovered in this time. Jeez. I can't wait for nighttime, I can tell you that much. Roll on nighttime. Okay, six, onwards to seven, our power's okay, we're hungry, we're thirsty, we can deal with both of those, that's fine. Uh, yeah, that, that heat, I will tell you, being grabbed there and not being able to move, that was terrifying. <laughs> that was not good. Okay, contact lenses. There we go, we can see more clearly now, fantastic. Let's go ahead, have some clean water, have some smoked meat, okay. All right, now, heading back outside, we're going to go ahead and activate... I can wait, no, we might not need to. I was going to say activate our night vision. We don't need to right now. Um, let's just keep a very close eye on our temperature as we start to move towards these bodies. Now, that, I believe, is the zombie necromancer. Um, let's see, can I page down through that? I think I can. More items here. I believe that is the one, so let's just go see if we can quickly... Rottweiler's approaching. Yes, we'll stop smashing. Okay, so that is the corpse there, thoroughly pulped. Again, I'm relatively sure that that was our necromancer there. The, uh... The others, I'm fine with them coming back. Okay, 
uh, zombie master across the way, and that's a listener down there. Okay, let's uh, move away from here for now, and it looks like we've run into some more fun times. So yeah, we're essentially trying to make it back to where we were, back towards those vehicles. And look, there is no way that any of those NPCs are still alive after all of this. Um, you look like a beekeeper. You're a scarred zombie. Okay, I trust you. We've got a zombie master down there. I'm not, I'm not a fan of that at all. We need that to end right now. Okay. That's good. Oh no, our armor's getting cracked. Okay, we need to... I'm almost tempted to leave this armor behind. Um, because it is going to break. It is going to break and I'm going to be so upset. You know what, we could activate it for now. That's going to give us the vision that we need. Let's stay far away for now. Most of them should be in and around that region. I say that, but then they're up here as well, aren't they? Why? Why, you fools? We can deal with regular zombies. We just don't want to get kind of stuck with them. Okay, here we go. Here's what we're talking about. This is the region that we're wanting to try and get back towards. Uh, maybe not directly here, but around here. So we know that close to here is where we dropped our stuff. I'm relatively sure. I cannot by any means be 100%. Now the easiest thing to do will be to do this and search for uh, a rucksack. Because ours is a survivor rucksack. Okay, survive rucksack. It is right up there by the vehicle. Okay, noted. And we got two zombie hulks still just chilling out here. <laughs> of course we do. Of course we do. Well, guys, I'm really not here for you, I promise. I know you might think it. I don't want our armor to get destroyed. Our armor is going to get destroyed here. I don't see us being able to slip in and out of there undetected. Um, yeah. Is that the Kevlar Hulk? It is. Can we do this? Can we just slip in and out undetected? I don't think so. Just go down towards the flames, eh? Just go down towards the flames. Make everybody happy. They're roaming right around our backpack. Those bastards. It looks like it's just the rucksack there. Because we've got everything else with us. It looks like it's just the rucksack that we've dropped on the ground. Which is entirely possible. I, don't, I mean, I don't want to lose the bag. So let's start making our way up towards them. We might be able to come around the other side. Looks like that's going to be the way that we do this. We've got another zombie hulk. Fantastic. They're bloody well everywhere. Okay, okay, here we go. This is, this is how we do it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to run in. This is going to be a snatch and grab. We're going to grab it. We're going to wear it. We're just going to get the hell out. Just like that. That's it. That's us. That's done. Is that ours? Nope. That is one of the dead people. And they are super dead. Never again. Never again. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Don't worry about them. I'm not even worrying about smashing corpses right now. We just need to get into the forest and take a breather. Outside of the tall glass. Oh, cool. We've got someone tracking us. Fantastic. We hear shuffling. And a shady zombie appears before us. Okay. Well, this has been an interesting experience for all of us, hasn't it? Lemmington, no, nah. you can get stuffed. So, we're going to make our way back towards our vehicle, the bandit bulldozer. And we know that we have to go essentially straight through here to be able to do so. Um, 
it's going to be safer for us to have our night vision on. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and chuck that on. It is going to be, is it capital J? It is capital J. There we go, night vision. It is time. Okay. Okay, Spitter, no need for us to fight you, so let's not. Let's just focus on sticking down the bottom of them all, because, well, that's just a whole heap of not fun. We've got rose bushes we can step into now. I imagine they are semi thorny. Um, blackberry bush, same kind of deal. Very nice. I'm glad the brand can tell what they are from distance. Okay, we should be able to start making our way up now. Let's see, where are we at? No, it's going to be a wee ways further. Let's just take the path for now. And all the grappler. Cool, we've got two grapplers and shriekers. I need to remember that our armor is damaged. Nice, Humvee. Okay. Right now, our priority is to just get back with this. Uh, we've got dead lobsters all over the place. Cool. Okay. We are not going to dive into the water. Ah, oh dear. Well, this has been something else. The temperature thing really, really scared me. Because uh, sometimes there are events like that that happen that are just outside of your control, and yeah. We were getting held there by all those zombies, just absolutely dogpiled by them, while the zombie necromancer that was next to us was just observing Bran slowly heat up in, inside of his suit, sweat pouring down his face, what's left of his skin. Not having a great time. No. No, we were not. But there it is. Our bulldozer. With this goddamn window knocked out. Okay. Well, I tell you what, it is good to be back inside of here. We need to get back home. I don't know if Brand remembers the way or not, but we'll soon find out, won't we? So we roar this thing back into life. Let's get it moving. Away from all of this. And there is a chance that I have forgotten something along the way. Uh, I am going to leave our night vision on rather than use that. Well, we could use the headlight. It's the overhead light that just takes way too much battery. Uh, so let's go turn our night vision off. Otherwise, we're going to get blinded by this. Control multiple electronics and we will turn on headlights. And I think it is just the one. Yeah, so it's not really the best for navigating by at night, but you know. It does something. Okay, so ideally we'd want to be going through on that road, so let's see if we can make that happen for us. What what makes it difficult with this is only really being able to see outside one side of our vehicle. So navigating city streets will be a little bit difficult unless we flash things first so that we can kind of get an idea of the surrounding area. I think if we put in a really sharp turn here, yeah, we're good. This bulldozer, I'll tell you what, I'm loving it. Keep on plowing through. We're hungry, we're thirsty, but we're doing fine. Ooh, that was quite loud. Okay. Seeing a lot over here. We got God there. Run down that corrosive zombie. Okay. Feeling good about things. And before long, we will start slowing down because we're going to be approaching the refugee center. Wow. We, uh, we did it. We achieved the goal. We achieved the mission that they sent us on and quite the mission it was. Okay, let's just ease this thing around, point it in that direction, and this is where we're going to stop. We're going to turn off those headlights, 
stop driving. <sighs> Just take a moment to like catch our breath. Okay, so we've got all of our other bits and pieces in here. Magazines and power storage and all the rest. I'm gonna head back inside. And I honestly cannot for the life of me remember who we talked to about that. Oh, I see that we have changed the, yeah, we've changed the dead bodies for people. Very creepy. <laughs> I like it. Um, I actually didn't check to see if I was on the correct pack before I started. Undead people, indeed we are then. Okay, um, alright. Was it you that we got our mission from? I think it might have been. Uh, Neves. Yes, Neves. Have you dealt with them? Justice has been served. Thank you. The world's a better place without them. Two of our more skilled individuals accepted the assistance of the old guard in setting up an outpost while you were out. We didn't have many other options. Refugees still streaming in. We don't know what else to do with our limited food supply. If you get a chance, you can go see if they need your assistance in the future. I could use your hand with someone else, though. Yeah, we're not going to help them <laughs> up that way. We're interested in this place. Um, so, yeah, perhaps we could. We'll see if there is anything else that can be taught to us. Um, bartering can. So, yeah, sure. Let's learn a little bit about bartering. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now, let's have another chat. And see uh, if there's anything else that we can do. Ah, uh, right. They do need people up at the farm. We're not interested. We'll say farewell for now. Now, I'm relatively sure we still can't help these NPCs. I will try. Uh, we'll go ahead and have something to eat and drink beforehand, though. Let's see. Okay, Rena. Ah, uh, yep, we still can't help her. Um, yeah, I, I want to help, but I cannot help. I cannot trade. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's Neves. God damn it. Bloody Neves. I was like, hang on. I can trade now. Hey. No, we were wanting to help out Rena, the teacher, but uh, we can't, which is really frustrating. Nothing we can do to assist there. Well, we can take a breather at the very least. Yes, and I believe I'm still unable to use items on them. So, my idea of experimenting has gone awfully awry. We cannot, we can't recruit people the same way here that we could before. Um, there might be some that we can recruit here, possibly. But I'm not 100% certain about that. Healthy. Um, use item. Yep. Can't. Talk. Uh, no options, really. Yeah. It's unfortunate. So it would appear that the beggars out here are coded and that they have their own kind of specific code. Um, if you run into random NPCs out there in the world, generally there's a process that you can go through into recruiting or asking them to come with you. Uh, it seems things have changed a little bit in that regard, especially with them here, um, which is a bit unfortunate. It'd be great to be able to help out some of the people that are here, but um, well, yeah. There is only so much that we can do for them. And so that kind of leaves us in this position of asking ourselves, what next then? We are unable to help them. We're unable to assist them. Uh, we've tried. We've tried and um, we can't <laughs> advance them. Uh, we can't use any of these mutagens that we've found on them. Perhaps it's because, you know, everyone here is a little bit too protected. Um, so what does that mean? Well. We haven't discovered any of the labs around here, have we? So we're not going to be able to go and have a look inside of them. I would very much like to find some more labs, however, they just are not around. 
A land center. Okay. That's different. But yeah, no labs, unfortunately. I'd hope that we would have discovered one by now. And so now, I think Bran and me, we're feeling homesick. And home is a long way away. We know that the journey was not easy. That our poor vehicle took a bit of a beating. Getting there. I really wish I could bring these people with us. Bring someone. Bring Rena. But it might be that Brand is just destined to be alone, to walk alone. So he stumbles back towards his bulldozer. Plonks himself down in the seat. We've got all that mutinex serum still with us. Loaded up, but no way to use it. And a ways to go. A long ways to go. Tough choice. Not an easy one. Not an easy decision to make. And you know what? This may be a little controversial, but we are going to finish things here today. We're going to finish things early. And that's because I want to discuss with you what direction you think Bran should go in from this point. I'm leaning towards taking him home. That long road back up towards where he was before. Up kind of near Pittsburgh. I guess Pittsburgh is the closest closest point. This whole area here, which is now his in a sense. He's still going to have to work a lot harder to be able to maintain it. But, um, yeah. We're not going to get anything more from this, unfortunately. On the drive back, we might be able to stop by a few places, libraries in particular, and scope them out. But for the most part, we want to keep that bulldozer rolling. Uh, keeping it at speed is what got us here in the first place. And the more speed we can, you know, maintain, the less chance we have to get bogged down in kind of incredible numbers of dead. Because we've seen that now. We've seen exactly how bad it can get. And it can get really, really bad. So for Bran, this is the end of today's episode, not the end. <laughs> Please let me know your thoughts down in the comments, and I'll be sure to read through all of them before we go jump into the next episode. Thank you for joining me for this one, though. A little bit of a crazy one, trying to get back here. We got back in one piece, we got our pack back, and we got away with our lives. Just that fire was more dangerous, I think, than we could have ever imagined. And Bran was close to the end. But it is not that end yet. I have been Rikon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.